to give it to me. I gave you challenge 22. No, I gave you challenge 22. And I said I'm looking into it. And I said I'm looking into it. I'm going to need to talk to people who are actually compassionate about animals instead of other mothers playing for other mothers being raped and killed. You're pathetic. Disgusting. What's the matter? Facebook and this is an absolute letdown because Why? I have literally just said I agree with everything she's saying and I have tried to be vegan and my biggest challenge was that my health was impacted. How? That was my biggest challenge because so I was living in a different country first of all I didn't have health insurance and I went vegan and I don't know what the issues was because I wasn't even able to go I didn't have health insurance I wasn't even able to go okay. to and check but I was a vegan for a year and I was having dizzy spells, I went unconscious and all of this. And I understand this, I, I, this is disgusting to me. We shouldn't be slaughtering animals. We shouldn't be causing suffering. I absolutely a thousand percent agree with that. But my question to her is what are you supposed to do when you're a single parent like me? I've got two kids, I'm extremely busy, I work full time. I, it's, I need to then what, get rid of 33 years I'm a vegetarian, I've been a vegetarian since I was 15, but the veganism part is a massive challenge. So oh. 33 years. It seems like you're, if you're a single mother, you work full time, you actually overcome many challenges in your life. This is a very easy thing to do compared to what you do, like as a parent. Like you manage your children so raising kids. I've got ADHD. So I've do I. I struggle with consistency and with so like, un, like when I went vegan, I think you're victimising yourself a little I'm bit too much here. Yeah. There's a lot of single mothers that are vegan. And my mum, my mum's no, bloody, my mum's a vegan. See, this is the issue because I'm literally saying these are the issues I have. How can I practically implement? Yeah, them I mean, I, I mean, and no, 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 no. It seems, of course, and we. These are the things you can do. It's just an attack, and she's trying to get clickbait. That's what it seems like. No, no, look, and, and I think that you know that you can be vegan. That's probably why you feel a bit attacked right now. And it, I otherwise, vegan. yeah. And, I've said that. That's how you know, it's done. Like. I know people with uh, autism that are vegan. Vegan, ADHD that are vegan, I'm disabled people that are vegan. My mum's a vegan. Like, my brother is a vegan, and he's like a beer drinking. You know, yeah, he, and, he, and he went vegan. Like, it's easy. Basically, you're talking about. You're, basically, what you're talking about is, if you're a vegetarian, removing dairy and eggs and checking clothes for wool and things like this. Very simple. You're already there. Yeah, I don't like with my clothing and stuff. That's never an issue. I always check the label for that. Yeah. Anyway. That's an easy thing to do. But when it comes to like food. I think you like Everything cheese and you, I think you like, no, it's not. It, like, is it a lot of things? Is you know, it a lot of things? I went vegan when I left gangs and I was like an ex drug addict and I didn't have any education. I like just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I mean, you're talking to, and I had PTSD, ADHD, yeah. uh, depression. I, I actually been in the mental ward before, like, yeah. you know, so I, uh, you're talking to someone that has been through struggles, right. been suicidal, and was still able to uh, omit certain things from my diet. What's the that the practical solution is, is basically there's so many how to be vegan websites, right? Like if you where are you living here, UK? Manchester, yeah, yeah. Manchester. So, so you know, there's a veganuary website. There's a accidentally yeah. vegan website. There's a apps like Happy Cow. Mm -hmm. Do you know the app Happy Cow? Uh, Happy no, Cow. Really Tell you where all the vegan options are around you. Like so, like Costa, every single supermarket, every single fast food place um, in the. You know, in Tesco's and Sainsbury's and Asda now, everything's labelled vegan. There's a whole vegan section. Um, there's vegan dairy, you know, there's... If there's a vegan option that is, well, usually cost or whatever, if there's a vegan option, I would usually go for that anyway. What it's milk is that? Uh, soya. There you go. I always get soya. So, it's, eat, cow's milk anyway. so it's only cheese and eggs and things like this that I you... rarely have eggs anyway, but... It's so it's so easy. So you take... Cheese, but it's very, a small amount anyway. You must love cheese. The, I love cheese. No, I love no, cheese no, too. The biggest thing I prefer other things anyway like yeah vegetables like you know yeah. horses, all of that like I'm I've been a vegetarian for a long time so you don't eat meat already which is actually meat if meat. you look around meats and everything too you can make the same argument for meat but you've managed to do that true yeah I mean you've managed to not eat meat you don't slip up and eat bacon do you well, no if something's got bacon and you're just like I don't eat it that's like a vegan but it's just one step further yeah you know it's like you... Well, the, but what I found with the vegan side of things is like you might go for a cookie and that's got like dairy or something in it or oh, cookies right here right i know mns cookies plant-based cookies yeah you know there's no there's nothing you eat right now that has dairy in it that we don't eat every day you know you just see what, what's your go-to diet on a daily basis like what, what it do depends if we're if we're traveling then basically we've got to grab and go um if we've got an airbnb we can cook food yeah. so like basically 
I, I start the day with like I like wholemeal bread and toasted bread and we, we eat a lot of like baked beans or like oatmeal with fruit or um, sometimes we have a yogurt with uh, berries and stuff like that or a lot of tofu. Tofu is very rich in yeah. iron and calcium. Yeah. Soy is an incredible health food full of yeah. calcium and all that and people are afraid of it which is irrational. So and, and we do eat vegan cheese like I get this cathedral city plant base and it's delicious. It's probably the best vegan cheese I've ever had. Are you getting like affiliated or something? Cause no. I, all the vegan cheese I've tried is like... No, I don't get money for anything. I don't sell anything. Okay. I'm an uh, only donation-based activist. I don't answer to anyone. Yeah. I only promote things that I believe are good. And uh, basically we just want animals not to be slaughtered and exploited and killed and treated like commodities. So, I mean, if you believe that and you've got such a small step to go, wouldn't you want to embody that belief and just say, you know, I'm proud of myself. Of all the challenges that you have in your life, right? You've actually put the animals just a little bit further. It's not like you're, you're asking to replace your life with theirs and kill yourself for them. It's just like, okay, what's vegan? What's vegan? There's yeah. millions of vegan here in the UK, millions who are able to do it and are single mums and have mental health issues. It's really, I think you're letting yourself well, down a little. Impossible because of that. I'm saying there's an extra layer of- We all do. You know, we all have challenges. You are capable. You're a, you're a single mother, which is strong yeah. and it's challenging in itself. And you probably already have to look out for a lot of things for your kids and doing all this stuff and organizing a lot of things. Yeah. We're talking about omitting two things from your diet, which lets you down because it's such a small thing, but you're making it bigger in your mind than it actually is. And if you agree that animals matter morally, the least you can do is be vegan. I'm not asking you to jump in the gas chamber and stick cameras in there. That's like, that's what I would do. Yeah. But the least you can do is not harm them. Yeah. You know. It's not, a, it's not a big thing. And I think you make it bigger in your head than it actually is. I just find it a challenge like every single day because it's like, I feel like I've got so much to think about and then it's like now when I go shopping and I get it, like your, your, your point is, well, you know, you should actually, your morals should overcome that extra challenge, that, that thought. Well, you that don't do it for me. You don't do it for me, do you? There's a reason you don't go, yeah, oh, there's meat here. I better grab it because I've got it. A... That's a lot easier, right? It is a little, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it is easy. In the, in the, the, egg industry it's hidden it's it seems less attached to the torture as it's also, but obviously it's, it's prolonged suffering and, yeah, and they, they are the meat industry all yeah, those animals exactly. go to the meat industry and uh, they're in some ways more disgusting uh, than you know it's 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 not a competition but you know yeah. I, I just think it must you yeah, have a conversation with someone like Mel pretty hard-lined and I get a I can be as well I'm pretty uh, hard-lined as well but like, wouldn't it be great to say, you know what? I, I agree with you and I, I live in accordance with that belief as well. And, and, and even though, wouldn't it feel good for your self-esteem as well, just to go, I'm a single mother, I have these struggles, but I've still, I can still manage to be a vegan. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. Because I believe you can. The conversation though, that I was saying, what are the practical tools? These are my challenges. So like, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. how can I? And, and my, my advice to you. Your approach has been, well, you know what? I've done all of that and these are my challenges and other people have gone through them. And these are the solutions they've found. Like that's your Google, approach. honestly, Google. I, I get that, but I thought you were here to like have a conversation, which. You're here to done. promote the doc and uh, you know, look, you already know this stuff. Yeah. But sometimes you need to kick up the bum to go, my kick up the bum was like, I don't want to harm people anymore because I was a violent person, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to harm people. And I was like, oh, I feel like a hypocrite that I believe these animals matter. And if I seen someone harming an animal, I would intervene, but I'm eating their body parts. I'm eating their, yeah, yeah. their you know, so I'm, I made that a priority, right? Because I didn't want to feel that way anymore. I don't want to feel like a hypocrite. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it made me feel so much better Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. inside. Because yeah. I had a lot of going on too I was having nightmares recurring dream like I yeah. you know trying to get back on my feet after being in prison and being in gangs and you know so but I just it wasn't that hard once you put a little bit of effort into it like look google up we look in the back of a packet does it have milk milk and eggs are always highlighted yeah if it says may contain milk or eggs it's not an issue right. because that's just to protect people with allergies if there's cross-contamination but right. if they're an ingredient they're always highlighted yeah. and you don't have to worry it's like yeah Okay. You can do it. Right, well, thanks for the conversation. Bless you. Look, yeah. don't take anything personally. Yeah. She's defending animals, and she, she, she's only thinking, no, she's I been seeing that. It. Like, I get it, but for her to put me in the bracket of, like, I don't give a at all, it's not true. It's not true. And you, but only you know that. That's why I'm here to have a conversation with you. But only you know what you care about, right?
But when you say, if I say I care about my partner and then I punch her in the face, you're not going to believe me. So if you say you care about animals and you, you can't omit two things from your diet, you know, then it doesn't really reflect what you truly believe. That's why there's this, it's an easy thing to rectify, to fix. All right, well, I'll give it a go. Bless you. Thanks. Take care. It's good talking to you. See you later.